Hi everyone, it's Julia. A while back I saw a video on um, embossing metal. Um, and this gal actually um, did embossing on the brass ninja um, charms that you can get at Michael's or whatever, wherever. Um, anyway, her link or her, her website is bellamoto.com. And I will link that to you and also link her, her um, YouTube channel so that you can watch her. It was, it's so neat. Um, the only difference that I'm kind of doing is I'm taking another twist on it and I'm doing it with copper. When I saw this video um, and she was using brass, I just kind of, I knew I had this copper on hand and I, and I also knew that, that copper is a little bit softer and I, and I figured it would work well for this using the same method. Um, and boy does it. I just really love how they turn out. Um, here's some examples quickly before I kind of go into the method. Um, but I just basically just using an embossing, plastic embossing folder that we all have in our scrapbook supplies. Um, this one I've used, um, this one has a beautiful star on it. I just love it. Um, and I have wire wrapped it using the copper wire and added some beads. This one to um, a couple different folders I used on this one. Um, with a diamond shape on the side and also the spiral shapes. Um, and then I've da dangled the bead and the little washer thing at the bottom. Um, this one, another another teal. Love the combination of the teals and greens. Um, again, I wire wrapped it this time with a silver wire. Um, added a, and some more little beads on the top here. It's just really funky stuff. This one I love. It's a, a paisal, paisley folder. And this is a folder we're going to be using today when I demonstrate how I do this. Um, and the washer, I just dye right with when I dye the copper just to kind of take, so it's a, kind of the same colors and then I can kind of decorate with it and do some fun stuff. This one I actually added a little dragonfly charm to the top of it. And then uh, metal stamp the word fly on a little piece of sterling silver there. So anyway, I'm going to show you some of the supplies you need. And then we're going to get going and we're going to get and actually demonstrate how, how I do this. Um, first of all, a little bit on the copper. Um, the, I, I bought my, my copper um, at Menards. It comes in a large sheet of like 24 inches by 18 inches. And I've had it for two or three years. Um, it was around $30 when I bought it, but copper has really gone up, so I don't know what the price of it would be now. Um, but the main reason why I bought the copper sheet was so that I could make or metal stamp little tags, put words on it, so I can oh, put I put them in my, on my journals and a lot of my projects just to add a little metal element to it. Um, I make the shapes. This is the shape I'm going to be demonstrating. It's more of like a, a squarish shape. But I I cut the copper using just an, a tin snips that I also got at Menards. And then I round and file off the sharp edges with a metal file that I also got at Menards. So that's just a little bit about the copper that I use. This is 26 gauge copper. And this is, I think 26 gauge is the only, the only sheet... Um, copper that I saw at Menards. So that's that's that part of it. And then the dies that you use are the um, Ranger dies, the Adirondack Ranger dies. And this is a new pack for me. I just got these three. It's in the cottage cottage path it says. So I'm going to be trying these three colors out. Um, you also need to a white dabber, again from Rangers. Um, a file. This is actually a part of a fingernail file that I've just cut down. Um, of course, you're going to need the, it's messy, messy stuff. So I've got the rubber gloves going. I've got my craft sheet going so I can work on a surface. Um, and then you also need. Let me get this over here. But you also need. Uh, whatever folder you want. This is a new folder for me. It's the called the Cuddle Bug and it's a Paisal, Paisley. Just really cute little folder. You have to keep in mind that the design on the copper isn't as detailed as the design would be on a piece of cardstock. 
So keep that in mind. I mean, like I have a sheet music folder that really doesn't work very good. It's just way too much details and it just cause doesn't really turn out very well on the copper. So kind of keep that in mind. And um, then you're going to need your, your cutting platform or your multi-purpose platform. And then also I'm using a, a big shot. Um, the person in the video, sorry, I don't know her name. She didn't give her name, but she used the cuddle bug. So either one, either one would work. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to show you. Okay, I've got my copper kind of lined up in my, my folder the way I want it. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to lay it on my platform in between my cutting sheets, whatever these things are called. Okay, and then I go ahead and I just roll it through like you would roll through anything else. It's a little bit tough, but it goes through. Um, it's going to make that noise. Okay, and then what you come up with is just the neat, neatest little embossed design on your copper. Okay, and now the next step, let me get this out of the way. Okay. Working on your sheet. The next step is to, to use your white um, dabber. On the raised side and you just dab your, your white paint right on the copper. Now notice I, I kind of like to leave a little bit of some of the copper showing. I just like the way it looks better. Now you don't have to, you can put on however much you want or little you want on the, on the, for the white paint. The white paint really helps make the colors more vibrant and it also gives it a texture and kind of a vintage look to it. So that's kind of the purpose of the white paint. Uh, I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back. Okay, my white paint is dry. I'm going to go ahead and put on my alcohol inks. I like, like I said before, using three different colors. and You can use any color combinations that you want. And I actually apply it right from the bottle to the copper. It's kind of handy to have a paper towel handy too in case you get a little bit more on that you want. But you just kind of play around with it and just, just directly drop her on. This color is slate, so I'm kind of kind of interesting to see what interested to see what that's going to look like. It looks kind of slate. It looks pretty charcoaly. And then I'm going to add this one too. This is called Current. It looks really kind of muddy right now and not too great but things happen and it's so cool. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little bit of the paint off. There's just a little bit more on here than I kind of want. Okay, I'm going to, again, let this dry. The alcohol inks dry really quickly, so it won't take long. And I'll be back and do a, the next step. Okay, while this dries a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to this little washer here. I'm going to dab it. And then I'm also going to ink it with my, with the same three colors.
Okay, my washer has been dabbed with the white and dried, and now I'm just adding the the three colors onto to, onto it. It's really getting muddy here. There we go. I'm taking some of that away. Might add a little bit more of the green. Yeah, there I like that. Okay, now my copper is dry, and I'm going to go ahead and sand it. And when you sand it, you're going to see the embossed image just kind of come to life. Just kind of keep working the little sand. What's that? I like to do the edges too, just kind of similar to how you distress things. It's kind of like to distress the edges. Just takes more of the paint off. And there it is. It just kind of just, it's just so cool the way it just, um, the copper is so beautiful once you once you kind of expose it again through the inks. Now, on my my other projects, I did seal this with an acrylic sealer. You could use Mod Podge too. Just make sure it's a water based sealer. Um, alcohol inks react with different things differently, so you might want to test a little bit of it. Um, first, you just don't make sure it make sure it's water based. Um, and that's that. Another thing I was going to show you is demonstrate quickly the little punch, metal punch that you can you can um, punch the holes for the jump ring in it. Um, Tim Holtz carries one of these in in his new line. So Michaels carry it. Um, Hobby Lobby has them. This one I bought many years ago through a jeweler wholesale company. So I mean, there are different ones that are out there. Um, what I do is I I take a, a little sharpie and I kind of eyeball where I, I think the center is on the back side, and then I go ahead and I punch the hole line up I can I can see that little um, dot through this thing and then I just clamp it shut if I get it lined up here of course it's giving me problems for Pete's sake okay there we go And you have a hole in the center for your jump ring to go through. And then I, I would go ahead and add charms and wire wrap it and add beads, um, whatever you want. The little washer can actually be put right on the piece in the corner somewhere, or you can dangle it from up the below. Um, so that's that. I hope this has inspired you. Um, like it has inspired me just to, to use ordinary craft supplies in my scrapbooking room that I've had um, to make some really neat jewelry with copper. Um, thanks so much for watching. Bye.